Hi, my name is Nicole, and this is the CK Diary Podcast. Good morning and happy Thursday. Today I am filming on a Tuesday, um, but it will not be uploaded until Thursday. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. I know I am. This morning I am drinking decaf mango green tea from um, the Tea and Spice Exchange. I got this one in Fernandina. I just got this new mug. Love ya, mean it. Got it from Target. I think it was like five bucks. It's pretty cute. Um, all right, so this week is going to be a rather short one. I do not have much to show you, um, but I am excited about what I have to show you. So I don't have any special project bags today, not because I have too many projects going, but because I don't have enough project bags, I kind of ran out of my um, special ones, but I've got this cute little canvas bag that I got off of Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks. And then this little pouch was like 10 bucks from Target. And it's very handy. All right, so the first finished project I am going to show you. Well, it's not a finished project. It's still technically a work in progress, but I have one sock done. This is my oldest son's socks that I'm making for him. Last week I showed you the socks that I finished for my youngest son. They are basically the same. It's just um, for the cuff and toe, I did the heel color. And for, I didn't have enough of the heel color to do cuff, heels, and toes. Ooh, that was one of my needles. I didn't have enough um, of the neon green to do the cuff and toe on these socks. And I am done with the leg on this sock. I have to start the heel. But I finished, these went really quick. It's the size small. Um, vanilla Sock on Magic Loop by Kay Liden, Crazy Sock Lady. I am using size two and a half millimeter needles. And these socks go incredibly fast. I think I got this finished in like two days, maybe three. But last week it was like 70 degrees here, I think. And um, I was talking to my husband and he said that it was supposed to be in like the 40s in the morning here and then like in the 60s for the rest of the day. So it made me want to cast on a little cowl that maybe I could wear this week. I'm hoping to have it done maybe tomorrow, maybe Thursday so I can wear it over the weekend if it's a little bit cooler. But this is the Round and Round Cowl by Crazy Sock Lady. And I am using the Valentine's Day minis from uh, Chelsea Yarns. It is turning out so cute. There are a few minis that I'm not going to get to from the Valentine's Day box. Um, let me show you what those look like. So I'm not going to get to these ones in this cowl, but what I'm thinking is that maybe I can make another cowl for a friend or for myself. Uh, these colors aren't really my colors. I don't think this bright red or this corally color really complements my skin all that much. Um, but I do, I mean, these might not either. I don't know. I like this bright pink on me. So hopefully uh, this will look fine. But um, I was thinking for these stripes, the in my first color, I have to use, um, let's see, it's six grams for either of the big stripes, I think it said, and then five for the little stripes, or for either of the ribbing, and then five grams for the stripes. So I'm thinking um, I have to use 17 grams of the 20 grams of yarn that I have for these stripes. But these ones, I'm only using five, and I'm going to have two stripes in each color. So I should have 10 grams left over. And so maybe I can do another cowl with the colors that I have and then choose one of these for the ribbing. Um, that will give me enough yarn, hopefully. And then if not, I can mix these two in or whatever, whatever I end up choosing. So I don't know. I might do that. I might not. Maybe I'll save these for my coziest memories blanket. Um, 
I did cast, I did start to cast on another Coziest Memories blanket. Let's see, I don't have much going of that. Um, I wanted to do a fingering weight one with the, um, I don't know if you can even see that. I wanted to do a fingering weight one with the um, amount of stitches that the pattern calls for you to cast on, um, which is 46, I think is what it is. Um, so this is the color that I'm using is the No Place Like Home yarn from Emma's Yarn. Um, I showed that square in my last podcast, I think, on my DK weight jelly roll or coziest memories blanket. All right. Um, that is all I've worked on this week. I didn't even finish casting on that square. I don't remember why I got I I think the boys started doing something and I had to go get them or they woke up from their nap or something. So I wasn't able to finish casting on that square. And I need to now because now that I remember that I casted that on, it's going to bother me. All right. That is all I have to show you for whips and kind of finished objects, if you count that one sock as a finished object. Um, and I was going to show you the yarn that I just got in from Ruby and Roses. I ordered it, um, not this, was it this past, yeah, not this past week, but the week before, I think on Saturday. And then I just got it in the mail on Monday, I believe. Um, or. When did I get in the mail? Yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah. So this is how it came. It is the Ruby and Roses DK, um, the Rose DK, and the colorway is Apple Cider. I like this cute little card. I love it whenever I order yarn and they have these cute little cards in there. They're just nice to look at. All right. And then this is the color. Um, let me see. Jamie from uh, her Instagram at is knitting with chickens, I believe. If that's wrong, I'll put it down below. Um, she is the one who suggested this yarn. Um, and I'm very grateful for it because it is the exact color I was looking for. I wanted like a deep, almost like a mauve pink with speckles. And look at all of the speckles in that yarn. I hope it's focusing. So that is so pretty. And I'm going to be making the Cory and Poncho with this yarn. Um, I got, I saw the pattern first on the Christmas vlogs from Chelsea Yarns. And as soon as I saw it, like the finished project, product. I knew I had to make it. Um, I originally thought about making it with a mohair, but then I decided um, to do an 85-15% um, superwash merino with nylon instead uh, because I've heard that mohair can be kind of difficult to pull back with. And um, this pattern, it's not going to have new concepts because the concepts that I um, needed to learn for the Corian Poncho, I've already learned. So um, I needed the German twist cast on, which I did with the cowl that I'm working on. And then I needed to learn an M1L and M1R, which I ended up doing with the muscle burr hat. Um, so I don't have any new, um, new things to learn necessarily with this uh, Cory and Poncho. However, it is a much larger project than any project I have knitted so far. And so I didn't want to risk having, I didn't want to risk using mohair and then having to potentially have to pull those, like frog those stitches. Cause I've heard that mohair can be difficult to frog, but let me finish holding this back up. It's loud. But anyway, that is really all I had to talk about with you guys this week. We, I did the giveaway, um, MD maker, MD underscore makers diary. Uh, she won on Instagram. You guys can go see that giveaway post over there if you care to know what she won. Um, I hit um, 100 subscribers and that's what that giveaway was for and I plan to do another giveaway at 250 subscribers. Um, I really appreciate you guys all watching and being here. This has been really fun uh, meeting people and kind of making my own little online community. Uh, 
of knitters and crocheters. And I know I've said it before, I, I don't know anybody in uh, life outside of the internet that knits and crochets. So it's really nice having a little online community of you guys. Um, but anyway, that is all I had to talk about today. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Let me know down below what you guys are knitting or crocheting or felting or whatever it is that you're doing. Let me know. Um, I'd love to read about it. Let me know what kind of teas that you're drinking today and I will see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.